folks. Okay, this one is fairly exciting for me because it's a brand new graphics card. So I picked this up from Overclockers UK and just gonna pull this off. Ugh. Ugh. Yes, there you go, lovely. It's a power car, PCS Plus, Radeon R9 290. Now this, I actually bought this for a few reasons, but I'm going back to AMD. I've been a, a, an NVIDIA user for quite a while, but I felt like it was time for a change. Um, especially since it's got an IPS monitor, and from what I've found out, if you have an IPS monitor and you plug it in via either HDMI or the display port, you will not get the full colour space of the monitor which is useless because if, the whole point of me having an IPS monitor is so I can do video work and uh, photo manipulation without any, you know, issues. So anyway, here's the box. Uh, and just to highlight what I was saying about that was what you're going to get from an AMD card is no problems with color space when it comes to HDMI or DisplayPort. Um, there was a mild fix for the uh, card I had, which was a 670, which is basically for all NVIDIA cards. But the way NVIDIA works is that this problem with the car space has been around for a long time and they've never fixed it. They've not even paid any attention to it. So, a lot of people have just been like, well, what's the point in getting an NVIDIA card? If I need to do really important work like that. Which is, you know, that's the situation I'm in. So, time for a brand new card. And this is going to be a lot more powerful than my 670 was. Very nice box. Very smooth, spelt. And uh, I was very lucky to get a golden ticket with this. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, I'm missing something. Yay! Ah. They always give you a bit of Haribo, which I really like. I do like some Haribo. Okay, I'll save those for later. Okay, so this is a 294 gig version. Now, the PowerColor PCS Plus is actually a really good version because with the overclock that it does have, and it should come with an overclock, it actually acts almost like a 290X, basically. Not exactly the same with every game, but for a lot of games, the frame rate's up there. So anyway, let's, uh, let's just take... There we go. Okay. Push that back and rip the box, never mind. Right, nothing else in the box, so we'll put that to the side. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, right, so what you get inside is bog standard power cable. This is 6 pin to 8 pin. Hmm, don't know quite how that works, but never mind. There's a little installation guide and a little pack. Probably just drivers and bog standard software, so nothing special. Put those to the side. And here is the card. Now, I recently had a look at uh, a 270 and the size of that, and I was really surprised. So, this, this should be interesting. A little bit of tape there. Oh, okay. Blooming heck. That, that is flipping massive. Okay, so these are 80 millimeter fans. This is one heck of a cooler. And what I'm gonna show you is that it's slightly above the bracket, which means it's gonna go into a third slot. So if you're gonna buy something like this, be aware you're gonna need um, three slots. One, one two, three. Um, Okay, so it's very nice looking. Uh, 
There's not much to say about graphics cards really. Apart from this, um, there's a bracket on the back. Now, not all cards actually get these. Usually it's bare. It's like the bare board. So that's quite nice to have that. Um, looks like a pretty meaty cooler. And the connections just here. We've got two DVI, display port, and an HDMI. And that is. Oh no, that is full HDMI. Fair enough. And that's full display port. Uh, Yep, everything looks nice and uniformed. I will admit, the one thing I'm going to miss from uh, NVIDIA is going to be 3D vision. I actually really did enjoy 3D vision. And uh, whenever I was playing a single player game, I would always think about, yeah, maybe I should put that on and experience it. Because I just played through Remember Me, uh, the Capcom game, and it really made a difference. Um, someone has kind of alluded to the idea that you can use 3D vision with an AMD. So I'll look into that, and if I do find anything out, <clears throat> I'll post it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so let's put the card to the side. Because I think we're going to look to see if there's anything else. There's nothing else, really. Alright, oh, that is it. Sort of surprising. But anyway, there's the card. Um, if you pick one of these up, because of AMD's uh, current system, they're offering uh, bronze, uh, silver and gold, I believe. I don't know if there's platinum. I think it's just bronze, silver and gold. But uh, this was a gold, which meant I got a ticket and I could claim three free games, which was awesome. I managed to pick up Sniper Elite 3, Murdered Soul Suspect, which, yeah, I hear is okay. And uh, what was the other one I picked up? Hmm. Oh, Thief. That was the one I picked up. Again, people have been like, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, I'm going to put this in the machine and just bask in the glory of the power that a 290 is. It's going to be interesting. So anyway, folks, um, till next time, I shall catch you later. Bye.